Welcome to Geothermal Power Plant Modeling 301 Dynamics Simulation. If you read my blog 101, which is about rigorous rating, and my blog 201, which is about fast rating and optimization, you notice both 101 and 201 are about steady state simulation. In 301, we are going to explore the dynamics simulation which can simulate the power plant performance real time with variable changes such as ambient temperature. In this blog, you will be able to see the dry bulb changes versus time and the power output versus time. In this dynamic simulation model, we have the vaporizer, expander, recuperator, air-cooled condenser, receiver, feed pump, and a valve to control the liquid level in the receiver. The vaporizer is split into five sections to improve the calculation accuracy given a fixed UA. The expander is modeled with a fixed efficiency. The recuperator is modeled with a fixed UA. Air-cooled condenser is split into two sections to improve the calculation accuracy. The receiver has a total volume of 100 cubic meters and the current liquid level is 50%. Feed pump is rated based on, based on the pump correction curve. The valve to control the liquid level at the receiver has a CV of about 759 and the current opening is about 54%. There are several events scheduled in this dynamic simulation. At minute 5, the dry bulb temperature is increased by 2 Celsius degree and again at minute 10 increased by 2, minute 15 increased by 1, minute 20 increased by 3, and then the temperature dropped at minute 25 by 1 Celsius degree, at minute 30 by 2, minute 35 by 2, and minute 40. The dry bulb temperature is dropped by 3 Celsius degree. Let us start the simulation and see how the plant actually reacts with these scheduled events. The blue line is the dry bulb temperature, and the red line is the expander output. As we can see, the dry bulb temperature is rising for the scheduled ev events. And then starts to drop based on whatever we set up earlier in the schedule. The red line is the output. First, it starts to decrease because the dry bulb te temperature is rising, and then starts to to rise up because the dry bulb temperature is reducing. Let us stop the simulation. With dynamic simulation, users can even simulate the power plant in a year time frame to get the true annual output of the plants. Thanks for reading the geothermal power plant modeling series. 101 is about rigorous rating to give the users great confidence to guarantee plant output. 201 is about fast rating and optimization to have the most output given any operating conditions. 301 is about dynamic simulation to give you a deep insight how the plant reacts to variable changes such as ambient temperature, dry bulb, Thanks again for watching this video. This video is brought to you by Guofu Chen.